up the recording on our next deck, which is a blue-green land destruction deck. It's a deck that George actually played a while back, and we're going to grab it here. I, I'm about to have the A deck. while back, before the Sweet Sweet Simma Guild came out mm -hmm. in Ravnica Allegiant, or... Yeah, right? That's what it's called? Ravnica Allegiance? Is that what that is? Yeah, Ravnica Allegiance. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> RNA. But, um, no, so it was before the printing of Repudiate Replicate and Hydroid Crisis, which is, uh, a card that is a really sweet one of to have in your deck that produces lots of mana and has Primal Command. So. I wish there was an easy way to move cards from the side to the main. What the card? Oh, did you add the Nimble Obstructionist there? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. sweet. To the, to the main, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're essentially playing a um, a blue green stifle deck <laughs> with the new repudiate replicate card and the uh, you know modern all star nimble obstructionist. But uh, if you listen to Andrew, it sure is. It, I mean, the card does a lot. There's a lot of random triggers that go on the stack. What are you calling this blue green? Uh, blue green. I was calling it land destruction. Really. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's kind of fair. That that is what we're looking to do with repudiate replicate, right? Like, all right, turn to stifle your fetch land, and then we also are playing things like Mongoli acid moss, um, four acidic slimes, primal commands. All right, give me one second. I think I sorted the deck out. All right, I. Gross. We have a like a one of breeding pool. That's a uh, what is that called? Oh, a masterpiece it, expedi expedition. It made this deck in my uh, <laughs> in free form. Okay, I clicked Easy. on the wrong thing. Yep, that's the wrong deck. I'm really bad at this right now, apparently. Modern. Sure. I don't, I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> lands. And then one obstructionist. And then I just want to download a copy of this deck real quick. So I can put it on Stream Decker. Because I did not do that for this last one. Ugh, what a the unprofessional streamer. I'm a terrible streamer. I don't even know how I have people watching me. Appreciate you guys. All of you are the best. And you're all in for a treat now. That's that's for sure. We're we're going to be playing a spicy, spicy meatball that may or may not get run over. Uh, the deck is relying. Or are are you on the recording right now? Uh, we're recording. Okay. I'm gonna let you talk about the deck. Sure. Um, you can control it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom then, real quick while you okay, do it. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. We'll we'll pile up the caps and check real quick. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't need these headphones. All right, so right here, you can see that we have this beautiful, beautiful blue-green land destruction deck. And I'm going to slide this sideboard all together. And so we can see the whole deck all at once. All right. So this is yet another deck that relies on the power of Arbor Elf with Utopia Sprawl. The combo being turn one, play a forest, play an Arbor Elf, turn two, another forest, another Arbor Elf. Or, excuse me, not another Arbor Elf. That's, that's fine, but not as good. You play the Utopia Sprawl, and then you enchant your untapped forest. Arbor Elf can untap the land, so that's four mana on turn two, allowing you to cast one Vuli Acid Moss. Um, and then you can, on the very next turn, cast things like Acidic Slime and Primal Command. So the object of the deck is to destroy your opponent's land, deny them mana to cast their spells, and then uh, close the game with, you know, your small creatures like Tracker, Witness, uh, Hierarch, Elf, or your big powerful threats like Frost Titan and Hydra Crisis. Coming to the deck from, uh, you know, the wonderful, wonderful... Ravnica Allegiance, we have Repudiate Replicate, which is like a, is an incredibly powerful card because we have plenty of ETBs for the Replicate, 
and the repudiate solves a lot of problems for the mono green style that the deck was before, which is what this was built off of. Uh, stifling or well, countering target activated or triggered ability can counter a lot of different things uh, in the format. Like you can counter your opponent's thing in the ice bounce triggers. You can counter a phoenix coming back from the graveyard. You can counter a storm trigger on the stack. You can counter the uh, final movement of plus one plus one counters from a ravager. You can counter, uh, you know, a Karn down to yeah. You can counter <laughs> fetch lands, which makes it into a two mana stone rain in modern a lot of the time, allowing you to really mess your opponent up and make <laughs> this deck does not uh, aim to have fun with the opponent you're the one that has fun zero sum game all that good stuff uh, so the other part of the deck is primal command very very powerful card because you get to essentially time walk your opponent by putting a nine creature on top of their uh, library and you get to choose to draw a card any creature you wish from your deck Meaning your one of Hydroid Crisis can be found very easily, and you can very quickly cast this card for like four cards and four life, and it's a gigantic 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, you can get Frost Titan, which is uh, a creature in the similar vein of Acidic Slime, where you can use it to mess up your opponent's land base, and then also it's a 6-6, six, six, and they have to spend two mana to uh, target it with spells or abilities that they control, or it's countered. It's not like Thalia, where you have to pay two more, it counters it, so your opponents can play into it and get punished very severely. Um, another spicy one of is the Nimble Obstructionist in the main, paired by the one in the sideboard. Uh, it's just another stifle effect, but it's also a creature that you can go get with Primal Command, so mm -hmm. unlike Repudiate Replicate, which cannot be fetched, uh, you can go and get the Nimble Obstructionist, and you can very easily produce 8 mana in a deck like this. Uh, the final one of is Glenalindra. Very powerful card, as long as you have the mana for it. <laughs> I'm sure you're seeing a theme here. You get to, you know, produce a lot of mana, play very powerful cards, win the game, because your cards are better than your opponent's. Um, for the other parts, you have Tylus Tracker, just a very solid green creature, produces a lot of stuff. We have 8 beautiful fetch lands. Uh, four breeding pools, and then a pile of forests. And so we can fuel a lot of, you know, draw cards for the, with this card. Uh, Ewit is the classic pairing with Primal Command, allowing you to loop it. Essentially, you Primal Command, you get Ewit, and you put a land on top of their deck. Next turn, you can play the Ewit, return the Primal Command, do it again. Your opponent essentially is not going to be drawing a new card and being stuck on the same amount of mana for the foreseeable future. Um, and that's really the main deck. Uh, you have noble hierarchs that you play instead of like Birds of Paradise or other elves because it produces blue. And noble hierarch is a very, very powerful card that allows, uh, with the exalted triggers, like it allows you to have a singular attacker that really hits hard. Tran like with two of these and an arbor elf, you suddenly have a 3-3 that can attack and your, no uh, your eternal witnesses are, you know, 3-2s, 4-3s, 5-4s. It really, it really just allows you to uh, power up your creatures. Yeah, and I've definitely seen that get through under ensnaring bridges quite a bit for us, and it's uh, oh yeah, it lets us win the game that we would have otherwise been locked out of. Although to be fair, this deck is amazing yeah. against person style yeah. decks. <laughs> you have main deck slimes, primal yeah. commands, ASMR, all sorts of great Shouldn't stuff. Shouldn't have a problem at all. So in the sideboard, the sideboard is still very experimental. It's based off of some other stuff and learnings, but um, in we have Dispel to protect us from uh, various combo decks or control decks trying to mess up our game plan. A very unfortunate thing to have happen uh, against a lot of blue control decks is a Cryptic Command bouncing the land that your Utopia Sprawl is enchanting. That's very... <laughs> it really doesn't feel good. Um, and then you have Grafticker's Cages and... We'll move these oozes up here. So we have four different hate pieces. Oozes, uh, it's good to have creatures because you have Primal Command in the deck, so you can go and fetch the Primal Command. Grab Digger's Cage, really nice because it's a one drop that stops a lot of different things. And our Primal Command doesn't bring creatures from the library into play, so it doesn't stop our Primal Command. Um, and also, against Dredge, you really want to have the one mana, like, so even if they're on the play, you can still keep them from really uh, 
cheesing you out of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, raking canopy, you know, <laughs> the new modern staple for the uh, Phoenix decks. It's it's powerful. It's good. It also randomly blows up spirits. So and it like spirits has to get like what at least two lords yeah, in usually. play and then they, even then they can't even swing with their um their two two lords like if hex proof like yeah, it still it still slows kills them down quite a bit uh a second nimble obstructionist for all of your stifling needs uh it, also a good card against control because it's just a three one flash that you can bring out uh obstinate bayloth is very good at uh, for life gain, it doesn't really serve the purpose most of the time of, you know, the discard part. Like, you don't really want to bring it in against Jund because it's just just a 4-4. Four four. Most of the time, you want your cards to be doing a little bit more than that, but it's okay to bring in one or so of these. Uh, Damping Sir is the last card. This is a card that's amazing against um, Amulet Titans, mm -hmm. Storm, Tron. This is just, like, two mana... Uh, yet another two mana spell that messes with your opponent's lands and it really messes up a lot of game plans that other people are trying to do in modern. Most of the time we're going to be devoting most of our mana to one spell or we can have enough mana to play around casting multiple spells for a higher cost because our deck produces so much mana. Huh. And that's okay. essentially the deck. Sweet. So. Yeah. I'll swap with you here, and I'll uh, basically have you walk me through playing this deck quite a bit. All right. Well, the uh, the trick is uh, draw Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl in your opener every game. Get well, them. We're professionals, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, that's that's the secret to the deck. If you don't do that, you're probably gonna lose a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't do that though. <laughs> but you know, New London Mulligan Row, maybe we, maybe we'll have more consistent mulligans into these things. You know. Yeah. See that extra card. Like I, said, I, I really like this mulligan rule so far. I know people were freaking out quite a bit for it, but I don't see any one deck dominating the format as a result of it. Yeah, like I think I downplayed uh, on my initial. This is a ship. <laughs> yeah. Woof. <laughs> this is a keep. Yeah, that's great. We have. No, it's not a turn two acid moss, um, right. but it's still a. It has plenty of mana. We have something to spend our mana on. And we can draw into more. So what are we shipping? That is the question. So we have Toby Sprawl. Hmm. I almost want to ship one of the lands. I was thinking we, a forest. Yeah, yeah. We can ship a forest here. Because we can still go turn one, noble, turn two, uh, sprawl, sprawl. Okay. I love Noble Hierarch so much. I mean, the card's just very good. Let's see what they got going on for uh, us. Whoa. Steam vents, okay. Goodbye, Noble This looks like Phoenix, kind of. It does feel like Phoenix. No. All right, well, we, do we want the Sprawls on two different lands? Um, no. It shouldn't. We shouldn't really need them on two different lands. They shouldn't really have any interaction for us, right? Yeah, like the only way we get punished is if they're like some sort of like Grixis control deck that has cryptics. Mm -hmm. But I think we'll be fine. Okay. Like generally, you don't want to put Utopia Sprawls on your non basics because there's a lot of things that target non basics where they can't target basics, like um, Field of Ruin and other things like that. Okay. Should we make one of them blue? Yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely make one of them blue. Just make sure that we have the the blue mana to uh, operate with. Because all of our lands produce green naturally, so having a sprawl that produces the other color is is good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. So acid they moss. didn't play a land, yeah, so we get to we can acid moss and try to cheese them out of this game here with uh hidden their steam fence. And we also get another forest of any type so we can get a breeding pool tapped if we wish to. It comes into place out no matter what. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. If we can run out the arc Yeah, oh my lord, that'd be so good. Just Yeah, Acid Moss is definitely a very, very powerful card for the deck. Okay. Now granted we're probably gonna have a hard time keeping them from, you know, flipping this thing in the ice because they run a bunch of one drop cantrips, but sure do. And that means that they can also 
possibly find more lands. Which they fortunately Oh Whoa. no. <laughs> oh we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, the opponent's smart. Oh <laughs> SMRT. Oh, we almost had it. We almost got them out of this game. That's still fine. We get we still get to like Arbor Elf and Tracker and Acid Moss is still like we still have Four acidic slimes in the deck, mm -hmm. which we can cast, uh, and we also have frost tines. We have a lot of things. That yeah, we, we have. There's a lot of things that they're just going to die to. No, we do have to hope that they don't get two triggers next turn. That is fair. But uh, we'll run out this arbor off, run out this tracker. Yeah, the trackers. I'm. I don't know how much I do like them because before the other version I was playing, there were. Um, there were multiple coursers, and Tracker and Courser are like best friends. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, we did the thing. I imagine they they might still be able to flip this thing in the ice. I would think so. They did they do top top? No, they put they bottomed both, so they could possibly not hit here. Yeah, I like the position we're in, anyways, because like. Even if they flip with Thing in the Ice, we, get we have push. five on board still, so they... Oh, this is great. Yeah, so we, we hold on to that, because that can... Uh, this is Sorcery Speed, right? The... No, it's Instant Speed. Okay. Yeah, Repudiate is Instant, the Replicate is Sorcery. Okay. Yeah, so we get to hit them for three here, I guess? Yeah, Repudiate and Replicate is just such a wild card, because we can also... Um, Counter like the the bounce trigger after it flips or the flip trigger. Uh, uh, do the, we want to or should we let it happen? Yeah, I I think we let it happen anyways because it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know. Oh man, I hope that the next land they draw is a fetch land, <laughs> and we just get to stifle them out of the game. Oh, you're a monster. Oh, I mean that that's the type of person that plays a deck like this, right? You know? You're you're trying to blow up your opponent's lands and not let them play. That was like old school Ponza before they had Blood Braid Elf and they became a mid range deck. I still miss the amount of lay destruction they're supposed to have, like Shots. Alright. Yep. Uh do we wanna stifle the flip trigger or um, the bounce trigger? Should we just let the bounce trigger happen, right? And then we can faithless. Uh, then we can slime again, blow up their land. They hit us to eleven. Um, I'm just wondering if it's better because we have seven power on board, mm -hmm. and they're at six. And you're saying next? Well, yeah. Yeah. So I get. Mm hmm. Hmm. I, I kind of like just letting them hit us to 11 because we're going to be able to blow yeah. up their land and then have a slime so they can't swing. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, wait. I was supposed to do that. I was going to let that happen so that we could cast it. <laughs> We just discussed it too. Okay, this That's... is fine because like I don't even know if they can swing. They can. Yeah. Like, I... Um. Do we swing with the whole team? It seems fine to me. We get in four damage. They eat our tracker. We replay a tracker. Mm -hmm. They they have one land, so they have two phoenixes in the bin. So they can currently maximum. Thirteen, but we have the tracker that we can block with. So yeah, they're they're pretty dead here. Like this puts it to where they have to block the acidic slime next turn. Yeah, at, and deal with tracker and an arbor elf. So yeah, we had some we had some uh, pretty good top decks there. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so... that, that see, and that's the one thing like with the with the trackers those games like we just never drew another land. Yeah, because we're only playing twenty of them, so it's like. So yeah, raking canopies good here. Um, 
Are the Graph Takers or the Damping Sphere is good enough? I know that Damping Sphere is generally is not great against them, but it slows them down like one Well, turn. yeah, gra Damping Sphere is fine because there's a lot of times. So when they want to bring their Phoenixes back, they have to cast three spells that turn. I know. So it's like one drop, but and then they have so they have to spend one, three, six total mana to bring a Phoenix back mm -hmm. with a Damping Sphere in play. So it's like really hard for them, especially since we pressure their mana. So Damping Sphere is good. Um, <laughs> I am already looking at this, and I'm a little leery on, like, if there's too much in the deck, <laughs> in the sideboard for, for this deck, because we have Raking Canopy, Damping Sphere, Graph Digger's Cage, and an Ooze. So, like, I'm wondering if we leave the Graph Diggers out and just bring in the Oozes. Sure. And what are you cutting? Are you cutting the trackers? Um, yeah. Let's see here. So, tracker... Probably the crisis. Yeah, I don't think we have to be. And then game plan. Glenalindra probably doesn't do much here. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Um, do you take out like <sighs> hmm one command or one ewet? I like taking out one ewet. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the least impactful card. Yeah, because um, Ewood's like kind of awkward with Damping Sphere because you're usually trying to cast it the same turn. Mm -hmm. So you're good with this? Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Okay. Well, let's run it. Man, we could have blew them up all their lands. We could have. We were so close. Hmm? Okay. This yeah, seems fine. So we're going to Misty for a Forest and then Utopia Sprawl it. Yep. Pass. Yeah, we have, like, turn two raking canopy. Or, I mean, like, we can turn two leave open the, the obstructionist to try to stifle effect. the end. We're okay, reasonable. that's pretty good. Another another sprawl to ramp us, because we have two five drops in hand. Uh, we're doing this on blue? Um, Since we drew a second one, I think we do it on green. Okay. Allows us to deploy more. We already have the breeding pool in hand. Mm-hmm. We have nothing that requires double blue right yeah. now, anyway. Sure, they have it. I mean, the ice. Hmm. Alright, so do you want to get the Ranking Canopy out here? Um. Oh. Obviously, it doesn't do much, but if they get the. Yeah, like. Uh, if they get the phoenixes in the graveyard when they're chaining off to get this uh, thing flipped, I think that's fine. Yeah. It's either that or just play forest and chant um, blue on this utopia and pass with the uh, to counter get the obstructionist up to like counter uh, like a trigger off of the thing noise. Yeah, but I don't think that seems to be as worth it. Yeah, that doesn't seem as worth it to me. Mm -hmm. really. So yeah, I kind of like just deploying the raking canopy. Yeah. And we're doing this one on blue, yeah. Blue. We'll get the canopy out. And then next turn we can Primal Command, which is pretty sweet. If they flip that thing in the ice, we'll be able to just bounce it back in and then go find ourselves a threat. Yeah. They're reconsidering their decisions in life now that they have the raking canopy. <laughs> I I definitely stopped playing Phoenix when my jund opponent put a raking canopy into play and I just, really? Yeah, I was just like, yeah, I can't win. <laughs> like, I have literally nothing that can beat this right now. He fatal pushed all of my thing in the ISIS. Hmm. So we can shock and breeding pool and cast the Utopia Sprawl on mm -hmm. our untapped forest. Yeah. And uh Still cast time. primal commands. Yeah. The nice thing here about having two of them is even if they is a charm, uh, we still have a backup one. Although, mm, I guess they have that. Hmm? No, I just noticed they had a fetch land over there, so I was wondering if... Do you just want to pass? Wait, <sighs> I almost want to pass, but it, I don't... It, well, we're doing the same thing, right? We're still taking them off of land. This way we're taking them off land and drawing a card. I'm okay with doing this. I love taking people off lands. So. All right, let's 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 do it. We'll, we'll just pass the turn here. It's unfortunate they're already shocked, but... 
No, no, that's fine. We'll make him think it's something else. It's that confusion shack. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> I bet they're mad at themselves right now. <laughs> Who plays this card? No, oh, that's a bummer of a draw. That's still fine. I know, but I wanted to draw a threat there. It would have been great. I don't want them to flip this thing this right now. I don't want them to flip it. No? <laughs> it's hard to get the darn thing off the board. We're going to get it? Although this only bounced non creatures. Yeah. This card's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it does get us a creature such as like Acidic Slime, Frost Titan. It's Frost um, Titan's my bait. What I want to get. I want to hit this thing in the ass with a um, Frost Titan, tap it out, and start swinging at them. I mean, if they don't like in it. Uh, the thing in the ice doesn't exile itself um, when it flips, so it just transforms, mm -hmm. and which means that it, it transforms tapped and s still. Yeah. So, so the Frost Titan can be an answer for it. Discarding two islands. Okay. Another thing in the ice. Another thing in the ice. I think they're just low on gas here. That hurts. Honestly. Hmm. So, what do we want to do with Primal Command? Um, I feel like we put the the steam vents back on top, on and, find top a threat. and then yeah, go find a threat now. Most likely the Frost Titan. Well, I wonder if we get an ooze here, because that that allows us to um blow up a land on the next turn and deploy a three drop if we draw something like that. I kind of like that, because then if they bounce it, we can still blow up more lands. And yeah, and it's a Death Toucher that trades yeah. with their thing. Yeah. So, non-creature and a search. Let's bounce that. Is there anything else we want to see here? Ooze, but I don't think it's that relevant right now. And we don't need to get e because we've got another Primal Command already. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, guess, I guess just ooze. Okay. Or slime. Yeah. It's an ooze, but it doesn't have ooze in the name. They might have to shock themselves to Faithless. Nope, they're just going to bolt. So they they most likely have another cane trip here. Uh-huh. And then we're taking seven. Unfortunately. Yeah. Although, to be fair, it flipping now means that we have um, a higher likelihood of... Uh, the slime not there they won't be able to bounce again mm -hmm. so we can so the slime will stick yeah because one of those cards in hand is a land yeah it's so they have to draw ice they have to have a spell in hand and draw a second spell and be able to cast both of them on two mana we have a faithless it's so, in the yard. Yeah. But we're blowing up a lane, so they can't flash it back. Oh, that's fair. Um, do we want to fetch and go to four here? And go to the three? Yeah, I get three. I don't think um, we do, right? We want to stay out of bolt range. I yeah, don't... yeah, we should just try to stay out of bolt range here. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Alright, we're where are those Tyler's trackers now? Why did we point them out? Uh that's lame. Hitting the steam vents. Yep. It's unfortunate they didn't have the Phoenix Ghost for this awesome raking canopy. Yeah, I know, right? We had our sideboard card and they, were, they just ignored it. Well, let's see if we're dead. Bottom, bottom. Must be a good sign for us. Yeah. Nope. Oh, no. I guess it just didn't matter. That's fine. Yeah. 
We had the sideboard cards for one point, and they were on the other. Yeah, so. instead of the other one. So. Yeah, Thing in the Ice is probably going to be the hardest card to deal with in this matchup. Um, mm -hmm. Just wondering if... You want to change anything? Yeah, just thinking... Of, maybe we do want to dispel? I don't know. Seems kind of weird. The spells are kind of awkward against them. Yeah. So many of the things we want to hit, like Sorcery Speed. Yeah, if we just would have had a Damping Sphere that game instead of a Raking Canopy. Um, this is a one-lander. It does have three one-drop ramp spells, though. You want to keep it? I feel like you have to keep these hands. Okay. Are we getting a breeding pool? Um, or are we okay I don't, with we not have, getting it because we have the nobles? Yeah, we have the nobles, so <laughs> I think we're okay without the breeding pool. Like, all of our cards can be cast with just green mana, too. So, Because the stifle part of Repudiate... Or, well, the repudiate half is hybrid blue yeah. green. Yeah, this deck only needs double blue for Frost Titan, right? Yep. Everything else is single blue. That's not bad. Yeah, that's uh, technically you want to have double blue for Glendalandra, but uh, Bolt, axe. Lightning Axe, Land. So good. Easy. All right, shocking ourselves and running mm -hmm. up both nobles. Yes, sir. Your bolt isn't your, or, well, I guess your axe is not enough. They're passing to us with the idea that we could have a nimble? What a monster. Well, we have the rep repudiate in our hand. Yeah. So um, we can... Uh, force, swing for two, pass. Yeah, I like that. And then we yeah, could we e nothing going on. We could e win it back. Yup. Yeah, that's the that's the my favorite part about all the stifles. Is you're playing four eternal witnesses. It's also very good with e wit because um, re the replicate you can continuously copy e wits and bring them back. So it's just with an e wit in play, replicate is just every time you can cast it, you get another two one. So you can build like large, wide boards of eternal witnesses. Now they're not fetching. Yeah, they probably realized their mistake, but now they're only on one red. Sure. You may cast your fate this evening. Another Phoenix in the Thought Scour. I think we Acid Moss. Um No, so no swings with the nobles. Okay. Use both nobles to tap for an Ewit, returning our Misty, playing Misty. So next turn we can Acid Moss and have Replicate up. Like we, they know the they know the game now. So we're just going to punish them. Like their land is dead. Yeah. And they're not cracking the land. And we have another Ewit, so we have, so all of our stuff is like. Okay. Uh, we oh, I can, like it. Because this is going to still hold them onto one land this turn. Mm -hmm. They didn't hit the other land last turn, and we're going to be able to just set them back really Yeah, far. We're, we're planning to, like, so next turn we can blow up their mountain, mm -hmm. and then they are sort of forced to fetch, which we then stifle. Yep. And they're at zero lands. This deck is pretty fun. <laughs> I, th that is my favorite part about this. It's like, it's just a very fun deck. For you to play as it's like zero sum fun. Look, I play Karn, okay? Like, yeah, right. We, 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 if oh, you look, there it is. Oh, it's so good. Get get that bad boy out of here. Oh, they did it with the Ewit on the stack. That's so nice of them. Now we can just get that back. Yeah, we can just go ahead and get our stifle back. You're the best opponent. To be fair, I don't think that's an interaction that many people are going to be thinking about. That's an interaction that almost no one in modern has to deal with, okay? <laughs> like, I really like that they're they're casting all these Faithless Lootings, because they were at four cards mm -hmm. going into this. So they're going to be going back down to four, and if they play a land, they're at three. Yeah, see, so they're, they can't even get their Phoenixes back right now. Unless they hit a gut shot or a surgical. That, that's true. Nope. Yes. So we get to... Oh, we drew the land to... Play the Misty first. Okay. Er, well... Oh, okay. Misty, crack it for a forest. Yeah. And then we get to Acid Moss, and then the swing for four with the E-Wit. 
Uh, I'm gonna tap. Oh, on. use both nobles. Yeah, to, yeah, that's fair. Who plays cards like these? We do, Bonnet. Yeah, we, we're monsters. So we have one, two. You win a map. We can even it back in acid moss. Yeah. That's the shock. Yep. The cute thing here, too, is uh, if they do manage to get the Phoenix Assist trigger, we can leave one in the graveyard by stifling the yeah. Phoenix trigger. And then we're going to win that race pretty handedly. Mm -hmm. No, we can just draw Ooh. that. Yeah, I think we, we we put that slime on the board. <laughs> Still get to keep... now, And now the Replicate can copy the slime. Mm -hmm. Concede. He's not giving up. It's Concede, the opponent. He's, Concede. He, he's at that point that where you're like, you're really frustrated, but you're not going to give up. You're going to like play the game out to the like 0.01% chance you have to win. <laughs> you don't even know what they can do. That's not it, opponent. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not it. They've been drawing a lot of lanes, though, to be fair. Um, um, if we play the Noble before comment, they have to chump. And then we can... Uh, Replicate our slime and then blow up their steam vents. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. I have to for blue. <laughs> <sighs> the worst. Pew. And should we just run the e out now? Um, no, let's hold it up. Yeah, uh, they're, yeah, they scooped here, so. <laughs> well, there you go. Deck, deck can play against Phoenix, so. <laughs> can't, it can't be too bad, right? Right, right. And game two, if they would have just went on the Phoenix plane, that canopy would have shut them down. Mm -hmm. And we weren't really that far Or if our of canopy those... would have been a um, sphere. damping sphere, they wouldn't have ever been able to flip those things, guys, because we did pressure their lands pretty, yeah. pretty hard. I mean, they would have eventually, but it would have been, like, after so much time. Yeah, like, it, they wouldn't have been able to do the two spells in a turn, mm -hmm. which would have allowed us more breathing room. Yeah. So. That was sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% on the trackers. I'm not 100% on the land. Yeah, the trackers, I, I almost feel like the trackers should go to a two of, and then it should be, like, a coarser as a two of. Oh like, if God. I wanted to keep that in there. Because that, that's a pretty sweet engine. Like, you're, like, playing Lance off the top, triggering your tracker, which allows you to draw more cards. And then is there like, a consideration for, like, oozes in the main? The, like, scavenging ooze mm -hmm. in the main? That That is a pretty pretty solid uh, choice, especially in the current metagame, where you really want a lot of graveyard hate. So putting the oozes in the main, because they're never really, like, bad, mm -hmm. right? This hand's pretty, just like, if we get a Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, like we have the turn one Arbor Elf, so it's just mm -hmm. like snap keep, and then even if we don't hit, like we can still play a tracker on too, which is also pretty good. And then after that, we get the Acid Moss. Oh boy. And once you cast the Acid Moss, you're casting these brown commands. Uh oh. What's she Uh oh. Got? oh. Okay, that's. I. The worst matchup for this deck, by far, are decks that run creature. It's that tap for mana. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it makes it so hard to like cut your opponent out of the game. Uh, it's just getting a breeding pool and tracker. Yeah, breeding pool and tracker. Hopefully, we hit a land here, but. Yeah, if we had a land, this would be pretty sweet because we can go acid moss below whatever they have up, and then just be able to like go at acidic slime, primal commands, and just do some nasty chains. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about the acidic slime is you can blow up their enchantments. Right, right. And that card's getting out of control really fast. Yep. Darn it, sadness. Okay. Well, One of the drawbacks of this type of deck. So um, yeah. Um, I think we just have to pass. Well, we smack him for four, right? 
Like, yeah. are are we blocking if we if we don't attack? That's what I was thinking about whether or not we would want just run the tracker under the bus, possibly. Yeah, but I think we're fine to hit because if they worse what what case worse absolute worst case is an ethereal armor and a daybreak coronet. But yeah. um, I think we're gonna just hit here. Yeah. Yeah, missing the land there sort of put into, put us in a situation where we just pray that they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Well, there's the forest. So it doesn't have trample yet. So we can we can acid moss one of their lands, put us up to five, which allows us to get slime to mm -hmm. take off one of the enchantments on the creature. Yeah. So I think. Yeah. One thing to remember with this deck is that the Arbor Elf is not a mana ability. Yeah. <laughs> Your opponents do get a chance to respawn. We even get more clues. I forgot. That's that's one of the other reasons I love Tracker in the deck is because the Acid Moss can mm -hmm. trigger it too. So. Yeah, no, it's a solid card. And it's definitely a threat and an engine to just keep us going. So it's mm -hmm. very, very good. Uh, that's a path in this game. Yikes. Oh, well. I mean, that's that's going to happen when the, the sort of ramp deck like ours misses lands right. and the ability to cast the spells in hand. So um, let us see here. Don't really have anything for the uh, for this matchup. <laughs> nope, we don't. Most of it's like already kind of in the main board. The only um, question is whether or not we want to bring in the dispels for like a path, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Is the do the umber triggers when you destroy a creature? Is that a trigger that goes on the stack? Effect, I believe. Is it a replacement? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're just sort of running it back. Yeah, running it back. Like there's. This is one of those things where it's like, but you kind of ignore the Boggles deck. Like, to be fair, we have a decent matchup against them. It's just we missed lands. Uh, we're one land away again. Yeah. I think we still keep it because we can E-Wit the Misty. Yeah. Hopefully we draw a land. Yeah, that would be a good To be able to do it on turn two. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you, when you, I know that if you have an Arbor Elf, obviously you run out the Arbor Elf mm -hmm. first, but if you have a Utopia or another Mana Dork, would you, is there a preference at all, or does it just not matter? So, the Utopia Sprawl can be a free spell past turn one. Okay. So, because you can enchant, you can enchant an untapped land, and it's essentially paying for itself. Okay. Oof. Well, we get to deploy both Utopia Sprawl and our Noble Hierarch, so it's not that bad. Right. But um, definitely could have been better. I don't think we... Do we need the blue right now? We got two Nobles. Yeah, we probably don't need the blue. We're also live. We have 12 lands that if we draw them... Like, most of our lands are going to be blue sources with the eight fetches and the four breedings. Mm -hmm. And we have the fetch in the yard. So right. if we really need the need it, Ewa gets it back. But... We're probably just casting Acid Moss next turn. Most likely. If we get the fifth mana, do you do Primal Command or do you just Draw a card opponent? opponent. Damn. <laughs> Spirit Mantle. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Alright, so yeah, we get to Acid Moss their Horizon Canopy, which is kind of nice. And then next turn we'll be able to start. Yeah, then we can play Ooze next turn. Knock off that spirit mantle. Mm -hmm. Play daybreak right now, opponent. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is my favorite part of this matchup. Your opponent plays a daybreak cornet with one other thing, and he thinks it's safe. But then one slimy boy comes to town. Ooh, we can smack him for two. Oh, we're so good. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> we didn't play a land. How much do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Darn, we're off of one off of Ewit plus 
Mm -hmm. Do we replicate the slime here and blow up their... I was thinking replicate slime and then E-wet. Bring back the replicate uh -huh. thing? Yeah, I'm down with that. Do, 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 do. Boop. We also get to smack them for four here. How great. Yeah, see, so like, it, as we can see here, if we if we have, like, actual stuff going on, or able to cast our spells, we, mm. can, we can sort of stay with them. Granted, the Spirit Dancer is going to be a problem if it ever gets first strike. <laughs> <laughs> right, but um, at this point, though, should we just Primal Command bounce their land and go fetch up a Frost Titan so we can keep the Spirit Dancer tapped down? Yeah, I like that idea. Or actually, oh, hmm. we have three mana left over after or two. Two. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. I was thinking that we had enough to cast a, the replicate. But I guess we get to keep up repudiate this way. Right. We get to one slime on attack, one slime on defense. He protect, he protect, he attack. Almost like most importantly, he builds up enchantments. <laughs> uh oh, that's first strike. That's fine. Um we're gonna just tap it down, so. Yeah. Oof, that's eight coming in with trample. Yikes. I don't think we block. Yeah, I don't think we have the luxury of blocking it. To be fair, like after we get the Titan down, we can then uh, play Ewit. Um get back primal command and we can gain seven off of it so yeah we definitely slam or oops to the blue there's not enough value to shock ourselves is there um no not really Alright, we just need them not to have uh, another aggressive start without us hitting lands, and we're going to be just fine. Just <laughs> fine. The deck may want to have Hornet Queen put back in, simply like because it. she's a pretty solid card. This Same is... seems fine. Yeah. I kind of wish we had an acidic slime, but can't have it all. Yeah. So we're just going to go Arbor Elf, and then if we hit a Utopia's Raw, we get to do a turn two Acid Moss. Otherwise, we're going to just run out all the mana dorks. Yep. All the mana dorks. <laughs> we're playing a lot of them next. So we're just going to. I mean, hopefully we get to Acid Moss next turn, but... Are they on a one-lander? They're on a well, one-lander. Wow, this, this guy is, uh, is playing risky business. Yeah, we just play Forest, three nobles. All right, opponent, your move. They hit the land. If they hit Daybreak, we're going to be pretty rough spot. Until we hit a slime. Doesn't look like Daybreak. <laughs> oh, that tease. shuts down our Acid Moss. That shuts down a lot of our stuff. Yikes. That card's really good against us. Okay, well... <sighs> Hmm. I guess we're just swinging for four. Yeah. 
I don't think there's a reason to cast the Ewit unless we think we should be racing them. I think we might have to try and race them. Because, like, we have so many bad draws now. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we can, like, fetch up a tap breeding pool and at least return a land with our Ewit. Mm hmm. Although, if we draw a replicate here, we can still be fine. Oh, okay, no, they have the, <laughs> the, the rank card. Jeez! No, if we had a slime, we're in a great spot. Alright, Gaddictig so. is a card that needs to be considered. That may that may make Beast within a card. Yeah, probably should be thinking. Well, we're just taking the five. Yeah, there may, there may be some cards in the sideboard that might want to be Beast within. Yikes. Probably play this wooded foothills and get another land out of the deck, right? Yeah. All right. Swing smack him with the e five. They're on a two turn clock as well, but they have a Gaddic T they get thrown under the bus. But that's fine if the Gaddic T gets thrown under the bus because that allows us to actually like cast things. <laughs> right. Oof. Seven. Okay. See, this is where Immortal Sun would be so good. Just plus one, plus one, the whole team. I like that card a lot. I played it in um, uh, an EDH deck. That was sweet. To be fair, I thought about putting it as a one-up in the sideboard with um, two... Can um, we jump to stay alive? I don't think we can. Um, no, we can't. Yeah, no, we can't. We're dead. Dang it. Ugh. Well, at the very least, I'm going out with some I mean, style. we did, yeah, like, we, we kind of did the ramp deck thing. Like, the, the Teague didn't even, like, do, honestly, that much. Like, we we only had the Acid Moss that we drew. We just drew a pile of lands. Like, we did the ramp deck thing where we just missed on all sorts of stuff. Like, we could have drawn a Slime at any point, and that would have been good. A Frost Titan. Yeah. Oh, we only have the one of Frost Titan, so... Glenelandra actually would have been okay, too. Yeah, Glenelandra actually would have been really spicy this game. <laughs> right. Or did we board that out? No, we didn't board it out. Okay. Oh, yeah, we just didn't board it all. Yeah, we didn't board. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, we're dead. Yeah. We just drew a pile of lanes. Yeah. Like, we, we had all of our accelerants and none of our payoff. Mm -hmm. I still think we're supposed to win game one. So, just on four, like, one. Yeah. Draw, one, if we would have hit the one lane a turn earlier, we would have won the game. It's fine. Yeah. Like, that's, and, you know, like, in modern, one of the things is you, there's a lot of different decks, so you're going to have some matchups where you're just not prepared for them. Yeah, or you just disregard them even if yeah. you wanted to be prepared. And for like them. to be fair, our main deck's fine against them. Yeah, like they they get to bring in Gaddic Teagues for games two and three, I suppose. But yeah. like it might be worth playing like a one of or one or two of Beast within in the side or some sort of like or maybe actually a, yeah, I don't know something that it, it can do a lot. It can. <laughs> I mean, we have the Arbor Oak and the Utopia yeah. Brawl. So know. as soon as I saw them land, I was like, ah. Would have wanted one more. But. Dude, you, I keep a lot of one landers in this deck, if I'm being very honest. I think you have to when you're playing so many one drops. Yeah. When you're playing 12 one drop accelerants, like, you're, you're going to keep some one landers. No, not the bolt. Okay. Oh, my border got messed up. Uh, we got the land, so that's pretty sweet. Great. Uh, so we only get to go to four mana this turn, right? Mm-hmm. So, so we can... 
Are we best to just hold up repudiate? Yeah, I kind of like. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like leaving up repudiate. Okay. So wooded. Uh, do we even need to shock ourselves here? Probably not. No. We just named blue on the Utopia Sprawl. Mm -hmm. Do we want to de use our Arbor Elf to... Actually, do we want to... We still run out the Noble. Yeah, right? we run out the Noble here. Yeah, Yeah, we just tap the mana, untap it, mm -hmm. and then hold it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now they're just like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> so Fetch, please fetch. Make our day. Darn it. Not doing anything. Um, kind of makes me think that it's a storm deck. I would think so as well, but why would they be shocking themselves though? Hold up remand. Okay. Which means that we probably shouldn't run this slime out there just randomly. Like, so we have one, two, or we have two, four, six. So we have seven mana total. Um, why not run out the slime? We can yeah, still because hold we up. can still hold up the repudiate replicate, which yeah. does beat the storm deck. Really enough. Yeah, so we're good. We're great at this game. Then probably tap the hmm? tap the noble. I was thinking, right? Yeah, yeah. Remain as you want. Yep, there it is. Okay. So definitely storm. So we shock in this breeding pool and pass the turn. Just counter the storm trigger and make them cry. Yep. Good time. So the the what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're binning the past in flames and the grave shots. Like if we ever get a, an option to do that, like we put those in the graveyard so they can't go grape shot have a pass in flames to like rebuy it because like if they do two of them we need to have two stifles yeah and unfortunately we can't flash in eternal witness <laughs> if only if only obviously we should be playing either while yep let's turn it into blue green vial blake's really big on that he wants to play soul tie eternal command i mean that deck is pretty sweet right okay well, I think like it's a slime them, but I don't know if we want to. <clears throat> so we have five mana. Mm -hmm. I think we might just be better off running out the Arbor Elf and passing. Yeah, use Noble to tap for the Arbor Elf. We got two. Yeah, we have we have two now. So that that's actually like pretty good for us. Like it's going to be hard for them to kill us with Grape Shot this way. Yep. Yeah. Go nuts. Yep. Sure. Huh. What? No, I'm just wondering if he's trying to mind game us here. Okay. And to into us giving him the Passing Flames and Manamorphos. Because technically he doesn't have the mana to do it. But we're okay but he, with it. Yeah, I think we're okay with him doing it. So I think we bend Passing Flames and Manamorphos. And then he continues to go off. Right. Yeah. Because we're we want him to like expend his resources to do this. Like we want him to use his hand. Yeah, he had the other. He had the other ritual in his hand, so he was trying to be sneaky. I had two more rituals in hand, actually. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. <laughs> you're gonna you're not gonna like what's gonna happen here. He has to triple grape shot us. In order to win. Yeah. I like how he kept the desperate in hand so they keep revealing it like blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that is that is a thing that you can do with the with the desperates if you have enough other rituals to start off with. All right, and we do want to. Okay, sure. Yeah, we we are going to. Um, wow, they just had the great chat again. That's so far. All right, wait, where are they pointing? This one? Yeah, oh, I us. guess they get to decide. This one's pointing at us right now. It's for 15? Mm, yeah, okay, yeah, we do have to counter it because yeah. they can just... Yeah. Gosh, that's unfortunate. This right? Yeah, the, the storm trigger, yeah. Because I think they can gifts here still and kill us. Yeah, I think we die. Oof, they had a... Man, their hand was good. They had the second remand too. Sure. On the plus side, that's all their blue mana? Yeah, Basically. but they don't need blue man anymore. They can get a past in flames, and they'll probably get a mana morphos here, so they're putting a past in flames in this pile, so. And we have to like bend the past in flames and right. such. Yeah. Um yeah, this is just another bend past in flames and mana morphos. Yeah, if they didn't have that remand, we would have been fine because we would have been, uh, we would have forced them to do um, both grape shots. Mm -hmm. But now they can just do it. We counter yeah, they can it. do it. We counter that storm trigger. Whoa! Well, that or they could not do this. Uh yeah, we're gonna stifle that one too. You. Don't have blue mana to remand in response. Okay, so you can mana morphos remand again. Do you have the third remand? Oh wait, no, he would have he would have held the priority. Third? Yeah. I don't know what he's He goofed. Because that was both past in flames. Was that a desperate mana morphos just to draw? I think it was. I think he goofed bad. He was not supposed to pass in flames there. Yeah, that's a Gibson given, buddy. <laughs> like, he gets what? Manamorphose, Grape Shot, Third Remand? Um, maybe Unsub? Yeah, if he has unsub third remand grape shot, he can still kill us here. But isn't that pretty unlikely? Oh. So we have to bend the remand and the grape shot and deal with an, an insane amount of creatures that we can't deal with. Yeah, darn it. All right, because I, I mean, bending the remand and the grape shot's the best way to just stay alive. But it just gives us one turn. Yeah, and we can't win. We don't have a way in the middle. Man, this guy goofed so bad. That was so bad. All right, maybe we can see here. Yeah, we can we can concede here, but yeah, that was that was a very loose. He he had the nuts hand, and he almost threw the game away. Yeah. Do you want uh, this? Um. Do yeah, we, it looks. I mean, you have oozes as well. I don't know if this is overkill at this point. This is a lot we're bringing in. Yeah, like ten cards. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of a bad matchup. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um. Yeah, like the slimes aren't good here. Frost. Yeah, frost isn't good here. Fine. Well, the the crace is probably is fine because we just want to draw piles of cards, right? Okay. Um. So you have five more cards to cut. <laughs> let's see here. The acid moss, and like, an ewit. I got 
Yeah, so we essentially go off of the uh, mana destruction game plan, because that's not really going to work against him. Mm -hmm. And we sideboard in all these like cards that screw up his game plan. Okay. Uh, so unfortunate. We almost had it. Yeah. Because then after that, we could have an e went back. Yeah, we could e went back a repudiate replicate. Mm hmm. And then copy our e wit bring it back again, mm -hmm. and then hold it up, and then just keep doing that until we win the game. Yep. <laughs> yeah, wow. Like, when he just, like, snapped, he, like, he all he had to do was just cast Grape Shot. If, and then if we don't do anything, we're dead. If we do have another Stifle, we yeah. Stifle it, and then he has, like, a million mana, he can just flash back the... Pass and flames. The pass and flames and the grape shot again. Like he didn't have to do all of that stuff. Like he he was very close to losing that game yep. by by the mistake that he made there. They're currently deciding how they deal with a pile like this. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean to be fair, this is like we're on the side that has the, the poor matchup. Alright, so this is a uh, mana generation and a nimble, but that's it. The nimble can stop a, uh, you know, the trigger, but I don't know if that's good enough. I feel like we might be wanting to ship it for a better six. Yeah, I feel like we can get a better six. Yikes! This is not a better six. <laughs> <laughs> is it even uh, worth it keeping? I don't think we do anything here with this hand, and we just lose. Well, we have turn two tracker. Turn three, tracker, fetch land. Mm -hmm. So like we have this hand has pressure. Yeah. So in like if we draw into like a way to disrupt him, we can we can have dis like if we draw like a damping sphere or some other way to do something, like we do have the pressure in this hand, okay. and we have the primal command that can maybe find us like a Glenelinger or something along those lines or a nimble instructionist. So I, I think we have to keep this one because going to five is just too punishing. Like okay. there's it's very But we're probably gonna have to ship the tracker or the command away. Uh I guess we probably ship the command away in this hand. I'm not thinking about it. Maybe the commands we're supposed to get. Well no, it finds us our like going a lot like it's just such a good draw when we have piles of mana, which is And I can find the like, obstructionist, which I think is a big yeah. deal, being able to counter that storm trigger. It's unfortunate. Of course. <laughs> of course. Right. Um, you, we probably just play fetch and pass. Mm -hmm. and then we get a breeding pool on the end step. Yeah, and then play tracker and go from there. Yep. Unfortunate that he had a bolt. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if we're supposed to be boarding out some sort of some of the mana ramp in the deck. Since we're like going down on the curve, we're like cutting out the, the acid mosses and things like that. I don't think so because I, I think we still want the turn yeah. two tracker. We still want um, the five mana to get to the primal command. Um, all of that's pretty relevant. Um, just run out tracker. Yeah, I think we have to. Because we just sit here waiting on this card, we're good. I don't think that's good enough to waste yeah. the game. And then at the very least, we can... So like next one, we can either just uh, play Misty, get a clue, and... Because um, I know we'd want to get two clues, but... Yeah. Okay, well that kind of signals that they don't have us dead immediately. Right. Or they drew into it and now they have us dead. That's cool. That's cool. Double mana. Oh, okay. They're just doing a miniature empty. Miniature. Huh? Right, now we're definitely just playing uh, Tracker Misty Pass, right? So we can block two creatures? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that was most of their hand, so. I 
actually surprised that they had it. I mean, I guess they keep it in. I don't know. Seems weird to me. Uh, crack the fetch. Get another clue. Sure. We're gonna be cracking it anyways. So, Get ourselves a good old breeding pool. So they hit us for ten. So we need to draw a gain seven. Yeah, I didn't think this deck would need Ratchet Bomb or anything to deal with tokens, but... Okay, sure. I guess we're only taking 9 to 9. Yikes. Do we have a way out? So they have 10, so we can play... Oof. Play Tracker. Hope they don't swing all out. Um, we're not dead if they swing all out, because they only have 10, so we can block two good old okay. one. We so, play the breeding pool tapped. Okay. Yeah, and this is why we, like, cut out a lot of the land destruction, because, like... It's irrelevant. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, this and, and this is a bad matchup anyways. Like the, the mono green versions of this deck we're playing are playing mm -hmm. Trinosphere in the main, like three O's. Just but even O's. yeah, well like there's and also beats up on Phoenix and stuff like that, but it's still like it it's still rough playing against Storm. Like Storm is a, a matchup that you're just going to they it's along the same lines of like decks with like creatures. Like they can just produce a lot of mana and we have a hard time getting around their stuff. Um I guess we can crack a clue here, see what we hit. I was really, really hoping to have hit a command. Wrong. Yeah, to hit a command there. Good. Okay, we're done here. Yeah. We drew lots of lands. Oh man. We're, two, we're one and two. <laughs> no. The dream is slipping away. Now we're just trying to make Make. Like, to be fair, we beat one of the most played decks in the metagame, and then we lost to two Less fringe so. decks that aren't being played. Like, to be fair, that guy's very brave for playing Storm in this format, because people are just playing, like, three main deck surgicals. Yeah, I'm, like, blown away. Yeah, so, so like, like I, I like Storm, but I definitely would never, ever play it in any sort of competitive environment right now in Modern. Like, yeah. it's just, the main deck surgicals will just tear you apart. That's why they have, they play the empty the warrens in the main mm -hmm. again um you can like you can still win they can still not draw the surgical but it's just you're you're just getting hosed by all of the hate for phoenix and all of these other graveyard decks as well yeah it's a bad prayer to have yeah and honestly like the phoenix deck is kind of doing just like a more consistent version of what the storm deck's mm -hmm. doing right like people were complaining um I saw a couple articles talking about how uh, there, people are treating Phoenix like what Blue Red Twin was doing. It's it's filling that shell very well. Haha! Mm -hmm. um, -ha, we all oh, he takes our repudiate. Yeah, but that's fine at this point. Humans, humans might be interesting. Well, there uh, the upside here is that they aren't on the vial, so we can blow up their lands effectively. Mm -hmm. If we draw something and blow their lands up, Luke. <laughs> True. You can repudiate a vial trigger. Got him. Seems bad. Well, I guess we play this Hierarch so we can play this slime next turn. Yeah. Tamp Green Pool Hierarch. Oh, we even get to smack him for two. So good. We're professionals. Taste it. Yeah, let's see. Next turn we can slime. Take out that territory. Yeah. Unless they play another uh, five color land. Meddling Mage. Naming the Ewet? Most likely. Come on. Because that's the card they saw. They know that one's a good one. Mm -hmm. I guess they could try to like make something yes. tricky. Right. The Ewet's not doing much for us right now. It just returns a land. So it's fine. Fairly certain. Yeah, we just we still slime here. and hey, there's, They missed a land drop. So like, this puts them back to two lands. And... And we're shutting off 
Yeah, we're we're they're they don't have a red anymore to cast a um, mantis rider mm -hmm. or black for another kite sail. Yep. And if they don't, if they tap their mana, we can acid moss here. If we don't, um, their canopy is held up, but I still think that's fine to an extent because they'd have to crack in response. Meaning, yeah. So they they mana. deny us our forest, mm -hmm. but we have piles of mana anyway, so it's it's perfectly fine. Oh, they're gonna image us. Are they gonna acid moss us? I mean, Do it. Oh, us. yeah. Blow up that breeding pool. You got us. You got us, guy. What will we ever do? Can't beat that. <laughs> it's not like we're going to get it right back. All right. Taking two. Um, I think we just grabbed the forest. There's no reason to shock. No, we don't even have to do that. Yeah, we can, we can grab a tap breeding pool with it. With the fetch, that is. I mean, with this thing, too. Get all these breeding pools out of the deck. Show them. Show them the might of our deck. I don't know we play that so we can fetch out the yeah. pool. We're, we're getting these lands out so we can't draw them. Um, we're, we're fine at, with holding it up, right? Or do we want to swing? I feel like swinging is bad. Yeah, it's bad. Because we want to be able to Because he can, he can crack back for five and we only hit for three. Mm -hmm. Swing all up. Okay. Um, um, I feel like we trade. Yeah. Well, do we? Yeah, yeah, we trade here. I think we yeah. trade. Yeah, it saves us some damage. I mean, fetches that won't be. So, Primal Command's a really good draw here. Slime is not as good of a draw. Yeah, I think we play it, though, blow just to have our, a blocker. Blow up our own land. Oof. <laughs> um, so we have six, seven, so we go back down to six. Hmm. Mm. We're taking four next turn if we don't. Yeah, I think we have to. Yeah. Just blow up a forest. Yeah. <laughs> Never been in this situation before. <laughs> Alright, if they don't have another hue... No, that's unfortunate. That is why, rude. Why couldn't you have played that last turn? Yeah, like, why, why did you... Why did you not have that last turn? And they're gonna, like, cast, what, Thali's Lieutenant? Yeah, oh, of course! <laughs> Fortunately, we have the slime down to block their stupid champion of the parish. Mm. Or actually, we probably block the meddling mage. Yeah, I'd block meddling mage, because then we can E-Wit and bring back... But they're just swinging in the air. That's fine. That saves us a ton of damage. Oh my goodness, deck. Please. We have so many cards. We've already gone through so many lands. 1, too. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we had 12 lands left in 45 cards when we drew that one. Now we have... Another Lieutenant. No Pathalia. That, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever you want, opponent. It's your world. We just live in it. So when you're champion of the Parachute Coward. I think they should. Like, they should be swinging an hour here. Blockity block. <clears throat> I swear. We're going to be at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we had ten <laughs> lands left in the deck, by the way. That's a it was like a twenty-two percent chance uh, to draw that land and we drew it. Holy like, smokes. I don't know if it's even worth it to like we could we we can't even block and stay alive. Yeah, right. like we're we're pretty we're pretty behind now. Like we we drew way too many lands in a row. Okay. Opponent also drew the champion of the parish. And Do you bring in raking canopies for their flyers here or no? No. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Most of the stuff that's killing us is are the like, like just the Nova's worth because they have like uh, kite no, sail and they have the Alias Lieutenant trigger goes on the stack to pump their whole team. So yeah. that's something that we can stifle. <laughs> um. I kind of like the idea of yeah, some some big boys. It's like Bailoths and Ooze. Yeah. Archmage is not great. Yeah, Archmage seems not so hot. Um Are we on the landy plan here with the acid moss? Because slime seems relevant. 
Yeah, slime can have death touch for their dudes. Like acid moss probably comes out because we're we're kind of replacing it with Baylos. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we bring in like one ooze and then bring in a, an obstructionist because it's a three one flyer. No. Uh -huh. Because like we we I they don't like have a... taking out the bail off instead because the oozes can just get out of control if we start trading. It's fair. So do we want to bring out an ewit? Because we didn't really get a chance to. I'm okay with that. Yeah, one ewit to make sure and like we have three bail offs. Yeah, yeah. And then because I I do like the like he's he's a four four he gains four life like yeah. it's it's just a it should be eating up two cards. Yeah, basically. he's a he's a very solid mid range style creature like. Like, you don't have to, like, his his discard text is honestly more of a niche text than anything. Okay, all right, deck. <laughs> okay, deck. Can't keep those. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we're, we're doing those. Oh, my lord. Do we ship? Oh, Misty and... Noble? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. You know? I mean, we, we do have the power mana start. Yep. There's no way to get Tracker out in a land, right? No, but we can play Forest here so we can have the fetch for the next turn. Okay. So we can go Forest, Sprawl, produce four mana, play the Tracker. On blue. Sure. Because doing it on blue and then the Misty getting the Breeding Pool allows us to have double for anything else. Yeah, for the Titan, essentially. Yeah, I didn't I, I didn't put the Tamios in the deck. Because I, I was uncertain how they would work, but I do... I don't know. I, I do kind of like the Tamio as, as a thing, but it's also very awkward. You can target yourself with that, so you have a bunch of Mandalore's tapping them. Well, that was slime. Do we hit the vial? Um, or do we hit the uh, canopy here? Oh, that's a good question. I think I think vial here. They're on just green and white lands. Yeah. Champion in play? No, I don't play. Well, they're still off the Mantis Rider thing. We could fetch right now and get F6 value. Don't you do us dirty. Oh, my lord. No. All right. Targeting the slime or targeting the tracker? He's targeting the tracker. <laughs> no way he's targeting that slime. Hey, it might be bad. Well, at least we have two clues, so we have two extra card draws for if we start flooding out again. Right. Such as now. Although it's it's really nice because we yeah, we get to suit that land up. Oh, we have to pay the thalia, okay. That's still fine because it technically is netting us mana still. Yeah. Oh, I think we're gonna crack one. Mm -hmm. It's a land. Goodness. Um, I don't want to play it yet, just in case we get a. Yeah, crack a, crack another clue here. Yeah. Yeah, and I think we do. Oh, I was gonna. Well, we don't. We don't crack the fetch here though, because we have the trackers in the deck. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, well, I mean, we have such a low land count that it's the thinning is kind of relevant. That won't do us dirty. Ah, oh, yep. Both are rails. I feel like they take the slime. That way they can swing another card. Yeah, they get another damage in. Oh, wow. Okay. This does shut down our mana production by a lot. Like, that yeah. take, that take, that took six mana off of the board. I agree, but we still have six mana. Yeah, but we would have had 12. 
Yeah. I guess they don't know what we have. I, I yeah, we we definitely have to fetch now though, and stuff, so we don't say like because we definitely yep. We just need anything. That's a slime. That's a spell. Oh, that was just double black valley, I guess. <laughs> I wonder how many spells we blocked them out of. Not enough. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> are they deciding if they want to take a slime and blow up our land? Yeah, they are. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna walk. Well, oh, all right. <laughs> you like get a get a land? Yeah, get a misty here. Oh, well, they're swinging with their slime. If they do, we can just block with. No, we can't just block with the ewet. Oh, yeah, because of the exalted. <laughs> I think we're just taking that four. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Thalia's Lieutenant only pumped up to. I forgot, the Vidalkins yeah. are. They're Vidalkins. Okay, deck. Okay. Well, that's something. Um, copy the ewit. Yeah, we can copy the ewit. It gives us a jumper for stuff. Or just cut. Co yeah, copy the ewit because we can keep doing it. Yep. You have to pay another one, but Thalia. Yeah. Uh, it caused uh, someone to get a uh, match loss in top eight yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm. Not paying for the Thalias? Uh, didn't pay for his own Thalia tax on a chalice. Paid for, um, paid for a uh, cracking of a horizon canopy with a ziggurat, and then paying a, um, casting a dismember. Um, and his opponent was at four, mind you. Um, casting a dismember and didn't pay the Thalia tax. Third game rules violation, game loss in top eight. So. Who did like? It was uh, Tony. Hmm. Sure. Okay. You may have to jump on the slot in this turn because yeah. we want to keep the. I'm I'm assuming he's bouncing our Ewit token. Yeah. Yeah. Noble and copy the Ewit again, just have another blocker. Still have to pay for Thalia. Oh yeah, so just the copying the Ewit token. Yeah. Copying the slime is not worth it, right? Um because we can hit the unclaimed territory, but I think we're just in a losing position there because then we are um I'm wondering if we hit the horizon canopy because I think he's starting he's going to be starting to swing all out. Okay, so slime. He has like a two three, a two two, a slime, and then like he's going to be swinging his non deputy creatures next turn. Okay. So does well, I guess copying the Ewit here is still fine. It's, it's the same because it can trade with the lieutenant, hopefully. Yeah, because if we copy the slime, all we're doing is he they're gonna they can choose to just swing with the Thalia one more time and then do that. So and then do that all out swing. Yeah. Also, to note, our Bayloths uh, are pretty good draws. <laughs> yes, they are. Nice. 
four four that gains us four. Stumble. This is not us. unreasonable either, becoming a pretty big boy. Pretty oh fast. yeah, the scavengers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good old Scoozy. Miss Scoozy. But yeah, it was really unfortunate. He was just like the entire room was watching him because he's in top eight, mm -hmm. and he was playing against uh, a pretty good player too. And uh, he was very nervous because he really wanted the invite. So, and that's understandable. It's not. Wow, they're gonna take cars. They just have everything, and we're just not that good right now. Yeah, they've drawn quite well. <laughs> And with a canopy on board. Mm-hmm. They've taken so many cards from us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's a jump block. Or uh, he's ready to swing all out opponent. He should be ready to swing all Jam out. those fucking deputies in there. Nothing bad will happen to you. <laughs> Just the foul, yeah? All right. Mm-hmm. This guy's giving us a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're doing it again. Yeah, I suppose so. Really. This would be so much better if we had Bailoths that we could have copied. That would have been sweet. Just uh, make another 4-4, four, four, gain another 4 life. <clears throat> yep. Oh, I found a Thalia's lieutenant. Nope, found another canopy. Yeah, not? Now the Thalia's <laughs> lieutenant. Uh, just another All right, Finally, he's like bricking a little bit, but jeez. Ah, uh, yeah, they got quite the board. S Why are they not swinging all out? Okay, he's he's thinking. You should at least be swinging with the flyer here, honestly. If you're going to be swinging with Mafali, you can hit us for three in the air. Okay, uh, okay so he's, he's making his move now. Okay. And I don't think it's fine. Have to go here. Yeah. Unfortunately. Trade here. Yeah. Take six. Yeah, I think we have to do it this way. Um I don't think it matters no matter what we do, to be honest. Yeah. Because anything we draw, we can, like, I don't think we can draw anything but save this game. Well, if we block with the Thalia and we draw a Bailoth, does, and we, so we take three, go to four, go to eight, and we can block, and he only has that, 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 and those that can swing, but they can't really swing. So you're saying Te you yeah, technically we can chump the Thalia and draw a Bailoth and still kind of be in it a little bit. Nope. Draw Nibla. Draw Yeah. We're done. Yep. Got one more match, but we're out of out of money. Yeah. Out of money. <laughs> it's unfortunate that this hasn't been performing so swell. Yeah. And I don't think it's necessarily the build right now. The, the cards we're talking about flexing, it's just the draws we've been getting. Yeah, like we've just been have, have been drawing piles and piles of land. We've been on the bottom variants of what ramp or yeah. what ramp decks do. Although that game was like. Like pretty bad. We drew like two extra cards with the tracker, and we multiplied though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So, yeah, we were like, I mean, goodness gracious, we were like in that game because we and we multiplied. Mm -hmm. So not the end of the world, but obviously we would, we would prefer to be in just a little bit of a better spot there. Yeah. I mean, if we drew a Primal Command earlier in that game and we still had all of our mana, like, mm -hmm. that game probably was just over. Yeah. Because we get to, um, probably just dig up a Krasis, and then we can, like, Krasis for a pile of stuff. Mm -hmm. Massive amount, draw, like, what, six cards? Something. Yeah. Something like that. Because we would have had... Uh, or ten cards, because it's green, blue, and then X, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, green, blue, X, and it's half of what you pay into X. Okay. So it would have been like five, yeah, yeah, five, five or six. four or five. So okay, we're on the draw. Let's see if we can uh, do some shenanigans. Mm. 
Mm, no one's talked in a while. Uh, this is fine, I guess. Okay. Piles of mana. A thing. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Okay, what is with all the bogles? Oh, we drew a slime. That's pretty good. Alright, so turn three we can slime them? Yep. I was talking to someone, they say I actually think the Bogles is in a good spot right now, so. I mean, I guess. Like, once you suit that up with, like, a massive amount and, like, gaining life, like, Dredge can't beat that. Yeah. Okay, so we can go green, Utopia this. Mm -hmm. Naming blue with this one, first one. Sure. And then this one, we'll hit it again, and we'll name green this. Yeah, green this time. Sure. Um, let me just run out the noble. I don't think there's that much value in holding up nimble, right? Yeah. So I just told my, uh, you know, I submitted my time off to go to Louisville. Mm -hmm. and then I realized that like two weeks later, I think, mm -hmm. or a week later is the invite, which I, then I'm going to request time off again. And I is it Louisville is this next weekend, right? No. Louisville is next month at the end of May. Oh, at the end of May. Okay. That's right. That's right. Well, they got a nice spirit link. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we can pop off their uh, ethereal and really shrink their guy down. Yeah, they have no cards in the end. Yeah. So not a terrible a spot. Strange card to have in the main deck. What's the strange card? Spirit Link. I think they usually run a lot off of that though. Really? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Are you swing for two? I don't think there's any reason not to. Yeah, might as well bop them. Yeah, I'll have to confirm the dates, but I'll like, I'm going to be like requesting a bunch of time off where I'm like only going to be working for like two or three days, right? Mm -hmm. And then coming back into work. But then like the week, uh, and then like two weeks after that, I'll be going to Denver for a work conference where I'll be gone for like the entire week. Yeah. <laughs> so they're gonna be like, do you even work? I'm like, no, I don't work. I'm just here. Just here to take my salary. Thank you. My uh, classes starts up in like two weeks too though, so I gotta make sure I'm timing everything appropriately. Oh, for your, the continuation of your masters? Yeah. Yep. That, does that finish up this year? It would have uh, until I switched to masters of finance. Oh, okay. So now that I switched, if I didn't, I would be doing my capstone this next semester and then mm -hmm. being done. Um, but because I didn't, I have a couple additional classes, so now I'm looking at uh, the beginning of next year. Wow, still nothing. Um, we can cycle the obstructionist here just to cycle it, because I don't think we're going to have... Like, they, they can draw a card, I suppose, but... Yeah, we'll devalue our draw more. Yeah, just try to find something to do here. Because we have tons of mana, we just need some. Okay, that's that's good. Um, Blow up the Umbra. Yeah, I can. To I get rid of the first the strike. Umbra. Play this. We can smack them for four. Four smackaroos, And then next turn we can e-wit and do it again. Mm-hmm. Daybreak coronet. <laughs> no, they're just drawing me. Yeah. I got nothing. Yes, destroy your own lands. Oh lord, <laughs> they draw an enchantment now though. Woo. I almost like hmm. next turn e witting the replicate and then like oh my we have one two three four five six seven eight yeah to now we're one shy yeah but we can blow up their thicket yeah 
That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Thicket, E wet, get back one of the get back a replicate. Yeah, if that's the case, I'm just gonna keep our card hidden. The one that we drew. Sure, sure, that's fair. Boy, this card's sweet. <laughs> For another four. Noble Hierarch going to work. I do think that we've showcased the power of Noble Hierarch with this deck, though. Yes, we have. Alright, so. I think we hold that Wooded Foothills for if we draw a tracker. That's fine. Do we hit the other planes here? Um. I think that's fine. Yeah. Because, uh, like, we, we're just. Uh, essentially, that's what our deck is looking to do, is just choke them. Mm hmm. And now they'll be choked on white. So they so like they have to both draw a planes and a white source. Like they can draw Rancor or Spider Umbra, I think, and that's the only one they can cast right now. Do we swing with all three slimes? Um Impossible even this E whip. We'd be putting them on a two turn clock, but they don't block effectively. Yeah, I like that. Like, they can't block profitably on any of the slimes, and mm -hmm. the e trading was something, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Fine. That e goes in the yard, so when we draw another e -wit. Realistically, we're grabbing that, but... No, you grab the other e and then you cast yeah. the e and then... We draw Bogle. Bogle. Bogley boy. Yeah. One slippery boy. Are you going to start a swing hit us for two after we... Huh? Huh? Opponent? We got this tutu -tu here. Would you like to throw something away? Would you like to lose one of your finest 1-1s? One yeah, swing that Dryad Arbor. Dare you. Block it in this snap lock. This guy's going to be kind of frustrated. <laughs> Who plays a pile like this? Oh. God. Galaxy brain level plays, saving the fetch land for the tireless mm -hmm. tracker. Fetch again and thin the deck a little bit? Yeah, get in the forest so we have an untapped land. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're just swinging all out with our mm -hmm. battling. Hiya! Right, you had to block at least one opponent. There it is. Oh, double blocking! Sure, getting spicy. Gotta get these tutus off the board. He, this opponent can't beat a five mana tutu. I don't think there's anything they can draw to stay in the game at this point. Yeah, they could like rancor, rancor, I guess, to buff these up. But even then, that does that keeps some dead, dead. Well, if he goes rank or rank on this, so that's eight trample on that one. But then we still have six toughness. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't even get there. He'd have to go rancor, rancor, draw white source, uh, the ethereal armor on the same, on the same uh, stone. Oh yeah, because they're drawing two cards. Yeah. Uh, we made no changes, right? Um, just wondering if we want to like take a second look, maybe see if there is a change we want to make. What is? Hmm. I'm not crazy. This text is smaller than that text, right? Yeah, they're different cards. Different. Printers. Oh my lord! <laughs> you gotta be okay with that, man. We, they just ship us cards. I'm yeah, okay. I know, right. Um, um, like I said, the only other card I was thinking about was the spell. Obviously, they have the Gaddic Teagues. That may be an issue, but I don't think we really have anything to deal with that. Oh, yeah, that's the issue. Um, do we take acid mosses out and just put like some payloads in? I don't think so, because the, the 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 acid mosses can hit their white horses. That's fair. Yeah, I guess we're just hoping to get lucky. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully, this guy doesn't sideboard Gannic Teague, and if he does, never sees it. Well, we didn't really show them it. We showed them the uh, the slime e wet uh, replicate. <laughs> to be plan. fair. We, we can't keep this. Same. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we have have to at least have a some one drop. This this one's fine. 
Um, I think we ship the obstructionist. Yeah. I keep playing these decks that, like... <laughs> the one deck that we had the stifles against that was relevant was Storm, and the guy, like, blew us out with his amazing hand. Right. And then, uh... All the other decks, we haven't really gotten to do any, like, stifle... Like, the, our first match, when we beat Phoenix, we got to do, like, all the stifle stuff. Yeah. Yeah, very meta-dependent deck. That is why I went to a comp league over a friendly league. Yeah. With this deck, because I just wanted to play against. Yikes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, we're taking five, and then we're going to have to E wet. Yeah, E wet, go get the lane that we've been. Mm hmm. And even then's not going to be great. Yeah, because it's got tree life. Does that give first rank? It definitely does give first rank. Yikes. Yikes from me, dog. Next turn we can Acid Moss. I feel like we're just so dead. <laughs> they play another enchantment, yeah. Mm. Now we're on a two turn clock. Seven five. Goodness. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I think we're just Acid Mossing here. And hitting the Razor Verge thicket. And then trying to play uh, slime the following turn to take out the first strike. Yeah, we have to, we have to chump with Ewit to go to one. Uh huh. Because we can't crack that fetch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we couldn't go for the canopy or anything. But like, we wouldn't want to do that anyway. But it's yeah, it's uh, uh not in a great spot. Nope. <laughs> Are we just like straight dead because they'll still have trample and like four power and trample? It's either that or we can hit the Rancor. Well, the Rancor just comes back. I think, I think we actually might be dead. Well, they got rid of their green source. Oh no, they just wanted to find another enchantment to kill us. Yeah. Yeah, any enchantment killed us there, so. Mm -hmm. They got us. Alright. That's fine. Run yep, back. Run back. We're on the play now. Try to cheese them. Turn one eyebrow. Turn two. Monvuli Acid Moss. Close. So close. We got two, uh, one draw to find the land. To, uh, two draws to get a land. This is rough. Well, we're on the play. So yes. We have to go one draw, right? One draw. But if we get the land, this hand's pretty strong. Like, really, yeah. look really strong. Yeah, I think we have to gamble on it. How you thinking over there? Must be a tough hand. Please go to six. List for the Naya Nahiri? Yeah, I can get that for you. Give me one second. Well, you don't want the list for this? This masterpiece? <laughs> well, this list is on Stream Decker right now. All right, listen, I don't want your, your reasoned logic getting in the way of my offended tone. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Oh, that is uh, not a good link. <laughs> does that even get you there? It's a big yeah, point. it does. It, it, the link is just massive because it's coming from the Facebook page that I was sent to it, but it does get you there. Um, we played that deck earlier. Um, we did make one change. I swapped out a tracker for another Blood Moon. Um, so if you are interested, you can check that out. I think we're just running out the Noble. Yeah. So rude of him boarding in a dismember. Yeah, not pretty at all. Could have just been path giving us a land. Come on. Oh buddy. my gosh, they did not have it. They kept it because of it. Well, we both kept some some risky business here. We just going for green, right? Um. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm just thinking of the chance they kill our noble. Yeah. But we get to beat them for one. Woo. Taste it. You are now at three-fourths of your original life total. Winning this race so hard. <gasps> Didn't he get a land again? Land! Oh my 
Ah! Do we play the tracker here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I was like, there's like the guarantee. Oh, right. We can. I'm an idiot. I was just like, oh, we can't play Utopia Sprawl and Tracker. No, we're doing both. This is the guy who played Utopia Sprawl plus Mana Dorks for like three years. After I specifically asked you about whether or not you can do it and what's the best way to do it, you're like, yeah, always just hold it up. You, the, the, the Utopia Sprawls are just washed. We won. Dude, he was obvious. <laughs> he conceded there. He was clearly stream sniping oh. us. Oh. All right, our uh, opponent the last round. <laughs> Kept a really bad hand. <laughs> they, kept, they probably had like all the gas in the world. Well, oh. like they didn't. The all the bogles cost one. No, no, they probably had a spirit dancer. They probably had a spirit dancer and a bunch of enchantments on a dismember. If they hit a land, they get to go spirit dancer and just go off. I guess because there's no way they don't have a one drop, right? If they don't have, if they have one drop, they're just dropping it and then yeah. it's starting to super up. So they have to have a spirit dancer. Yeah. So, all right, folks. Um, that is it for tonight. Uh, I'll be back on uh, Wednesday, I believe, to uh, run the stream again. If there are any decks you guys want to see, just let me know. I'm more than happy to run them right now. I'm always happy to run them anyway. But uh, I got like two weeks before I'm going to go to a tournament, so I got a lot of time, and there's no decks I really have a need to play test right now. So happy to just run whatever you guys are thinking about. Um, the the videos will be on the, uh, on the YouTube channel and the Twitch later tonight. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. And thanks, George, for joining me and sending me the blue-green list. So have a good night, everyone.